ready to be blown away by the fierce and fearless women of Asian cinema. From martial arts masters to undercover agents, these leading ladies are taking the action genre by storm. Join us as we unveil the top 10 best Asian female action movies that will keep you captivated. Number 10, Fury. It is a 2019 Vietnamese martial arts film directed by Liv An Kiet. The story follows Hai Phuong, a former gangster who has been estranged from her family due to her troubled past. After giving birth to her daughter Mai, Hai Phuong tries to live a quiet life in the countryside, working as a debt collector to make ends meet. One day, Mai is wrongly accused of theft and kidnapped by thugs who are involved in illegal organ trafficking. Determined to save her daughter, Hai Phuong embarks on a dangerous mission to rescue Mai and confront the criminals behind the horrifying operation in a final showdown. The film's lead, portrayed by Ngo Tan Van, delivers a powerful performance, and the action sequences are both compelling and stylish. If you're a fan of martial arts films, Fury is definitely worth a watch. This movie has 6.3 rating on IMDb and is available on Netflix. Number 9, Maria. It is a 2019 Filipino action film directed by Pedring Lopez. In a world of betrayal and vengeance, a former Black Rose cartel assassin finds herself at odds with the very organization she once served. Betrayed and marked for death, she cunningly orchestrates her own demise, only to rise from the ashes and forge a new identity. But when the cartel discovers she is alive, the hunter becomes the hunted as she fights to get revenge on those who seek to destroy the life she's built anew. This movie offers intense action, impressive fight scenes, and a captivating performance by Christine Reyes. While it may not reach Hollywood standards, but it's definitely worth a watch for fans of the genre. Maria has 5.1 rating on IMDb, and you can also watch it on Netflix. Number 8, Yunga. It is a 2023 South Korean science fiction film written and directed by Yeon Seng Ho. In a distant future where Earth is uninhabitable, mankind struggles for survival within artificial shelters and space colonies. Amidst a brutal civil war between the Allied forces and the Adrian Republic, Captain Yoon Jung Yi leads daring missions to secure medical treatment for her daughter. But when a critical mission results in Jung Yi falling into a coma, her brain is cloned to create an AI mercenary known as Jung Yi. Fast forward 35 years, as peace looms startling revelations about the project come to light, challenging perceptions of heroism and sacrifice. This film introduces some fascinating ideas about class and technology, along with some very fun action sequences. There is a lot about Yungi that can feel familiar. There are shades of Blade Runner, as it's not always clear who is a human and who is an AI. The rough and grounded sci-fi visuals call to mind everything from Gears of War to Robocop. But it's easy to forget all of that when you're caught up in tragic stories of lead crackers. This movie has 5.5 rating on IMDb. Number 7, Raging Phoenix. It is a 2009 Thai action thriller film directed by Rashane Limtra Kool. In a world where a violent gang reigns terror in Thailand, abducting and killing women, one man stands up against the darkness. Sianium joins forces with his friends to dismantle the ruthless gang that has plagued their lives. Amidst the chaos, a young woman named Do is rescued by Sanam's crew during a failed abduction. She discovers their unique martial arts style and becomes an integral part of their mission. Together, they form an unlikely team to take on the criminal organization. The action scenes in Raging Phoenix are a delight to behold. Skillfully choreographed, they incorporate both comedy and hard-edged dust-ups. While the film may not reach the heights of some other Thai action movies like Chocolate and Ong Bak, it still offers a breezy pace and visually striking moments. It has six rating on IMDb. Number six, No Mercy. It is a 2019 South Korean action film directed by Im Gyeong Taek. The movie No Mercy tells the story of In Yi, a former combat instructor in the Korean army turned female bodyguard. Witnessing her autistic sister Yoon Hai being raped by a politician, Inae seeks revenge by attacking him. After serving time in prison for this act, Inae reunites with Eun Hai, only to discover her sister's hidden suffering from bullying, exploitation, and sexual abuse. When Yoon Hai is abducted by a gangster involved in human trafficking, Inae embarks on a relentless pursuit to rescue her sister and confront the criminals responsible for her ordeal. No Mercy delivers a compelling story of revenge and resilience, showcasing the strength of its female protagonist. While it doesn't break new ground, it remains engaging and thought-provoking for viewers. It has 5.7 rating on IMDb. Number 5, Furies. 
This film is a 2022 Vietnamese martial arts gem, produced and directed by Veronica Ngo. It is a prequel to the 2019 film Fury, telling the origin story of that film's villain. In this action-packed film, a mysterious woman trains a trio of girls to seek revenge on a criminal gang that abuses females. These three lady warriors risk everything to challenge the corrupt empire, only to discover that their cause is not what they initially believed it to be. This movie combines brutal action, character-driven storytelling, and a fierce female revenge narrative. While it may not match the confidence of its predecessor, it still packs a punch and stands out as an entertaining action flick. It has 5.8 rating on IMDb and is available on Netflix. Number 4. Ballerina It is a 2023 South Korean action thriller film directed by Lee Chung-hyun. The plot follows Ok Ju, a former bodyguard who excels in skills like martial arts and gunmanship. She fails to protect her friend Min Hee, who was a ballerina and died unjustly. Ok Ju sets out on a mission to fulfill Min Hee's last wish to take revenge. This film pushes boundaries, challenging conventions, and leaving an indelible mark. The cinematography captures both the beauty of ballet and the grim reality of Ok Ju's mission. From neon-lit streets to shadowy alleys, every frame is meticulously crafted. It has 6.2 rating on IMDb and is available on Netflix. Number 3. Kill Bok Soon it is a 2023 South Korean crime action film directed and written by Byun Sung Hyun. The story follows Gil Bok Soon, a top contract killer working for M. Kaant. She is known for her flawless track record and high reputation. However, her life is anything but ordinary as she juggles her deadly profession with being a single mother to her teenage daughter. As she becomes involved with her co-worker Han Hee Sung, tensions rise and secrets threaten to unravel her carefully balanced life. Brilliantly directed and impeccably acted, Kill Bok Soon delivers a visceral and unforgettable cinematic experience that lingers long after the credits roll. While some find it a tad lengthy at 137 minutes, the consistently entertaining narrative and well-suited streaming platform viewing experience make it a worthwhile watch. This movie has 6.6 .6 rating on IMDb and is available on Netflix. Number 2. The Villainous it is a 2017 South Korean film directed by Young Byung Gil. The Villainous is an action packed revenge thriller about a trained assassin, Suk Hee, who is recruited by a covert government agency after a tragic past. The agency offers her a new identity and a chance at freedom in exchange for 10 years of service. As Suk Hee navigates her new life, she uncovers dark secrets from her past. She undergoes intense training and, and sets out on a path of vengeance for taking revenge on those who killed her father. The Villainous is an electrifying revenge movie that pushes boundaries with its brutal violence and innovative action sequences. It has some of the best fight scenes ever choreographed in a Korean movie. This movie has 6.6 .6 rating on IMDb. Number 1. The Witch Part 1 and 2 these are action sci-fi films directed by Park Hoon Jung. In the story, a young girl escapes from a mysterious laboratory after a violent incident that leaves many dead and causes her to lose her memory. A couple in a village finds her in a badly hurt condition and takes her in. After some years, a mysterious crew of violent black-clad goons hunts her down, and she must confront her past both literally and figuratively. The Witch Part 2, the other one, is the sequel, which continues the story with the introduction of some new characters. Both parts are blood-soaked, visually impressive films that balance action with vibrant character shades. The electrifying performances by the leads, coupled with breathtaking cinematography, make them must-watch thrillers. The Witch Part 1, The Subversion, has a rating of 7.1 on IMDb, while Part 2 has a rating of 6.3. So, these are the top female action films in Asia that we've collected from the many released so far. Don't forget to like the video and share your favorites in the comments section below. Thank you for watching! If you want to watch more videos like this, please don't forget to subscribe our channel.